Hi, this is Medium and Psychic Kim Moore, and today I thought I would tell you about why I decided to become a medium. So in 2004, I was pregnant with my fourth kid with this guy named Mike, who I absolutely loved, uh, and he decided uh, to take his life in 2004, um, and I had a kid shortly thereafter, about 10 days after our fourth kid. And so it was a very difficult and trying time for me, uh, and I was just trying to basically survive through that time. And a friend of mine had mentioned to me about John Edwards, who is this medium who used to have a show back in like the 80s and 90s called Crossing Over, where he would connect people with their loved ones. But I can't say that I was 100% in belief of that. Uh, I looked at it and I thought, oh, he must know things about people before he connects with their loved ones. That was my assumption. So anyway, this friend of mine said, maybe I should try something like that in order to connect with Mike. And so I did. Uh, I heard on the radio a couple months after he died uh, that there was a medium on the radio and she would be on the radio in the evening. So I called in on my sister's cell phone uh, so that nobody could know who I was or anything like that. And the medium on the phone asked me simply for my first name and the first name of the loved one I wanted to connect with. And then I got put on hold for probably about 20 minutes. And when she got back on the line, she was able to tell me things like he saw that I had a child that I named after him after he died, that he took his life, that he was with his dog and a wide variety of other things about him. And in that reading, it completely changed me. Uh, it inspired me to want to give the gift of that to other people. I've always felt like I wanted to do something to help others, but I could never figure out what I wanted to do. And in an instant, in one single phone call, I was inspired to decide that this is what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And everything I read said you could learn how to do it. Uh, you can definitely connect with your own loved ones. So I, I wasn't feeling dismayed. I felt like I could do it. I could figure it out. I could somehow connect. Um, if he was able to connect through this lady, why not connect to me? So over the years, uh, with his loss, I've been slowly grieving that. It's been about 16 years now as I'm shooting this video. Uh, so it's been a minute. Uh, some time has gone by and my grieving process is constantly changing. Um, but that connection with him changed my life. And that's what brings me here today where I'm doing readings for people. Um, but my grief process with him is very different than uh, how I connect with your loved ones when they come through in a reading. Um, I am grieving the loss of Mike still. And so I get signs from him and connect with him the same way you guys connect with your loved ones. Uh, it is very strong. It's very intense connection, um, but it's not 24 uh, seven. With your loved ones, when you come for a reading, they're only connecting with me for the moment uh, while you are there because you're the one uh, that they have the connection with and you're the one they want to talk to. I'm simply the telephone for the day. Uh, so in mediumship, it kind of brought me to this place of feeling very much at peace with him and wanting to bring that uh, to other people. So over the last 16 years, that's what I've been doing and I plan to keep doing that uh, and helping empower people to connect with their own intuition and their own guidance system, but also to connect with their loved ones and knowing that your loved ones are still just as part, just as much a part of your life as they ever were. Um, now they can inspire good things and be close to you uh, and stay connected with you. But in getting a reading, sometimes that helps people with their grieving process. And hopefully, if you're watching this and you've gotten a reading from me, it's helped you uh, in some way. But I thought I would share with you today why I decided to become a medium or become a medium. Or I thought I would share with you today why I decided to become a medium. And thank you for watching and watch for more videos coming up.